Today we will earn our brown belt in Google Forms by looking at settings and learning how to turn on a self-grading quiz. To get started, I'm going to go to my form, which is in my tab up here at the top. So let's take a look at our settings. If I go up to the top and click on the gear, I have three different sections of settings. First, I can look at general settings. Uh, then I can look at presentation settings. And finally, we have quiz settings. So looking at general settings, one of my settings is called collect email address. So if I uh, choose this one, it gives me the options of sending a response receipt. So what this will do is it will collect the email address of the participant. And if I choose to have a response receipt, I can um, send an email to my participant saying, thanks for taking my uh, survey. Um, and my choices for that are if the respondent requests it or always, so it doesn't give the respondent a choice. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, the next section talks about who can take the, the quiz. So if you're part of a G Suite domain, like our school district is, you can choose to restrict it to your domain, which would be, in my case, my school district. Um, I can also choose to limit to one response. Now, this requires that they use their district email address to sign in, Google account to sign in. Um, and this is really handy if you're given, say, a quiz and you don't want your students to retake the quiz. You want them to only do it once. Um, or like I did in uh, one of the sites that I worked at, we did a student council elections this way, and we limited it to one response so that students could only log in once to, get, uh, to vote for student council. And then down at the bottom, um, I have choices to allow my respondents to edit after they submit and see a summary of charts and text responses from other users. I'm going to enable that one. My next section is presentation settings. This is what participants will see as they're taking the quiz. So I'm going to allow them to see the progress bar. This shows them down at the bottom a percentage of how much of the quiz they finished or the, the survey they finished. I can shuffle the question order so that different students see the quiz in different ways. And I can show the link to submit another response. I'm going to leave this off. The last thing I have here is the confirmation message. So automatically it always says your response has been recorded. Um, what's really nice to put here is, especially if you're doing this with students um, or teachers in a workshop, you can put a link to uh, something else that you want them to do. It could be a link to an article that you'd like them to look at or a video that you'd like them to watch. So I'm going to tell them thank you. this one. That looks much better. The last thing I want to show you is how to make this a self-grading quiz. So I'm actually going to go back to the gear and I'm going to click on this last tab, quizzes, and first I have to turn this on. So I'm going to make this a quiz and my quiz options include when to release the grade, so um, in my district, we have email turned off for our elementary students. So that means that elementary teachers, if they want their students to see their score, they need to do this immediately after each submission. If your students have email uh, that they can receive, you can do later after manual review. And this is very helpful if you have short answer questions that you want to provide feedback for students because Google cannot grade short answer or long paragraph questions. Um, it can only grade drop down multiple choice and checkbox questions. So um, if I want to provide feedback for my students, I turn this on, but they do have to receive email. The last section is respondents, what they can see when they view their answers. So um, I can show them the questions they missed, I can show them what the correct answer was, and I can show them the point value um, that they earned. I'm going to turn off correct answers. Actually, I'll leave it on so that you can see what that looks like. And then I'm going to click Save. So now, when I go back out to my form, when I click, at first I have to click on a question. 
Now you'll notice that over in the lower left corner there's a new option called Answer Key. So if I click on this, you'll see that I can edit the points. And when I click on um, one of my answers, it will mark it as correct. And I can mark multiple answers as correct. If it's left blank, then that means that it is wrong. I can also add answer feedback. So when the student is viewing their results at the end, it will tell them something. So if I click on add answer feedback, notice that I have feedback for incorrect answers and feedback for correct answers. So I can say, sorry, that was wrong. Um, and then it would be nice here that I can point them to a place where they can study so that they can learn it better, right? So I can point them to a place in their textbook or notice I can include a link. So I can include a link to a website uh, so that they can um, go and study up. I can also click on correct answers and provide feedback. Notice that I also have the link option, so perhaps I can give them um, a link to a video or a website that shows them uh, like an advanced step. And I can click Save. And now it shows me my answer feedback for correct answers and for incorrect answers. To get back to my video or to my to get back to my survey, I have to click on edit question. And now it will let me edit my question. If I scroll down, let's say that I've entered answer feedback here that I want to use again for another question. If I use the copy tool, which is this button right here, it duplicates that question exactly with the correct answers and the answer feedback. If I click on answer key, you'll see that it's also copied my answer feedback, so I don't have to recreate that. All I have to do is just change this question. I do need to make sure that I go back and I change the correct answer if I put it in a different location. Otherwise, it will tell the student it, the wrong correct answer, if that makes sense. So if I want to see what this looks like for a student, I'm going to go up here to the preview, and it's going to open up a form for me. And then super quickly, I'm just going to take this quiz. Notice how it turns red because I haven't completed the whole item. And once I complete it, it um, stops being red. And then down here is my progress bar showing me how much I've completed. I'm going to click Submit. And now I have the options. I can go watch that video. I can also look at my score and I can see how other people answered. I'm going to click View My Score and I can see that I got this answer correct and see the feedback it says great and if I'd like to look at other people's scores notice it left the tab open at the top so when I click on it I can go to see previous responses and it's opening a new tab my um, quiz tab is still there and I can see um, how other people answered. You've just earned your brown belt in Google Forms.